Hi everybody, this is Slushman7871. I'm coming to you uh, from the Rehab Center and I'm uh, doing another installment of my uh, my journey of uh, working with a new prosthetic leg. So today I thought I'd uh, give you uh, sort of the anatomy of a prosthetic leg, what's involved. Um, so this is my particular model of prosthetic leg. I've, I've had a few uh, uh, custom requests that I've made uh, for this particular prosthetic device uh, and I'll exp that'll all become a little more clear as as this series goes on but I thought it was important to show all you guys out there um, what a prosthetic leg looks like in its in its sort of natural form and then we'll uh, we'll get into uh, some more details about how it fits on to the residual leg and um, you know the mechanics of walking and that sort of thing. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll zoom in here. We'll start at the top. This is um, this is a socket. This is where my residual leg actually fits into. Uh, this is a pin and uh, socket type of design. Um, basically, what that means is um, I wear a liner over my residual leg, which I'll show you in just a minute. It's got a pin on the bottom. Um, and that connects into the prosthetic limb. So this is a socket. You can see it takes a shape up around the knee. That's where uh, most of the pressure is, is, is right on the sides of the knee, not on the kneecap. And um, it doesn't actually put pressure onto the stump of the residual leg. Um, that's a, a good thing because that's where it would be the most sensitive and, and cause uh, you know the greatest uh, potential for sores and ulceration and that sort of thing. Um, so I'm going to zoom in on. There's a push button on the prosthetic. See if I can get an angle so you can kind of see how it works. The lighting isn't really great, um, but basically that is the release mechanism. Once the uh, prosthetic leg is snapped into place on the pin that's on the uh, on the liner that I wear, uh, that pin will release it when I'm when I'm ready to take the leg off. Then we get down into uh, the shaft of the leg, basically a piece of anodized aluminum uh, pipe substance. It's held on with um, uh, collars and Allen uh, Allen screws that are. Um, you know, hold the tension and and keep the the uh, the the tube for the foot from moving around too much, or at all. Actually, we want to keep everything in alignment because those measurements, toe in and toe out, uh, that sort of thing, are very important in maintaining a proper walk at proper gait. So as we move down a little further, we get into the actual foot itself. Now this one is. Uh, Generally, what what's done is that that this uh, this is a sports um, type foot for for fairly active people, which I am. I, I uh, plan to get back to a lot of physical activity. Um, and generally, what's done is this is uh, put inside the mold of a, a rubber foot. Um, I chose not to do that, and I'll get into those reasons in later videos that'll really sort of explain why I'm doing that. But I thought I'd, I'd point out some of the interesting features about this foot. Um, this foot is made uh, primarily of carbon fiber, so it's extremely light but very, very strong. And it mimics the anatomy of a natural foot. And here you can see uh, the heel area. It's basically uh, a heel with a, a like a shock absorber that's uh, that can be adjusted for for various uh, amounts of give and spring. Um, we have here uh, it's an articulated ankle so that it will actually uh, flex and give you the proper roll on your foot uh, for when you you step and push off you want that foot to flex and roll you forward. Um, this shock absorber here uh, called a bumper is primarily responsible for that action right at the at the moment as I'm shooting this video 
this particular bumper is a little bit too tight for me. There's a little bit too much uh, tension on it. So that's going to be adjusted tomorrow. Uh, as it stands, um, given my height and my weight, this, uh, this bumper isn't actually giving me the rolling motion uh, that I need to have to maintain a proper proper walk, a proper gait, and, and keep my hips aligned and so forth. Um, also, where the, the foot attaches to the, uh, the, the main uh, piece of pipe, which would mimic you know, like your, your tibia bone, um, the, um, the height of the, of the foot is adjustable. So you can customize the, the length uh, down to, to the millimeter. Right now, mine is just slightly uh, longer on the prosthetic leg than it is on my my right leg, which is which is my own leg, and so that's going to be adjusted tomorrow as well. That is pretty essential in keeping hips aligned. Um, and here we see what will give and maintain your balance. And these are are uh, they mimic the great toe and the little toe of the foot, so that will help to give you balance. Now I spoke about um, the liner earlier, and I've got two examples of the liner here. Uh, one is inside out, and the other is um, is the way it would be seen as I wear it. So I'll show you the one that would be seen as I wear it uh, to begin with. It's a liner that rolls up over uh, my residual leg, and here you can see the pin at the bottom. It's a removable pin, and it's, uh, I don't know if you can see that in this somewhat poor lighting, but it's, uh, it's notched and ridged, so it will actually click into the receiver on the prosthetic leg um, and then uh, be released by the button that I showed uh, earlier. And uh, so it's got uh, like a, a cotton mesh type of material uh, covering the inner um, silicone uh, body of, of, the, um, of the sleeve that covers my leg, and I'll show you that. This is my second liner, and as you can see, it's sort of a, a rubbery material. It's it's actually um, silicone, and because of it of um, the need for a good grip on the residual leg, uh, they use the silicone because um, as your your body heats up, it will actually um, the silicone will grip to your skin without damaging it, and you can see here the uh, the inside of what is the residual of, of the uh, the pin socket, and uh, so that is how uh, the 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 pin is held in place. Now that's also covered by a silicone um, uh, covering, so that doesn't irritate the stump on the residual plate or on the residual leg. So that is a brief um, video on how. The prosthetic leg is put together and some of the reasons uh, that it functions the way it does and how it can be adjusted to make things uh, look and feel more natural as you walk and uh, uh, a little bit on, on where uh, the pressure points lie when you do walk. So uh, I'll sign off for now. I'll bring you another video uh, shortly. and. Uh, if you have any questions that you want to ask, please feel free. Thank you for watching the video. Subscribe to this, uh, to this channel because there's going to be lots more to come. And I'd just like to uh, wish you uh, all the best if you're working with a prosthetic uh, limb. Now, this is one of many designs, so I'm just uh, giving you information on the one I've got. Um, the, the, uh, the type of prosthetic that would be right for you should you need one is something that only your 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 doctor and your um, your occupational and physical therapist can help you with, and uh, they'll make the help you make the best decisions on what the needs are for your own prosthetic limb and why it would be the best choice for you. So all I'm doing is showing you the one that I've got and some of the features and benefits of the of the uh, prosthetic leg that I've got. So thanks again for watching and. Uh, you know, stay in touch, let me know any questions and send me any comments on, on how I can 
better inform you about uh, the journey that I'm taking, um, getting 